Hey guys, we're back here with Michael Legg. He is the director? Artistic or director. Artistic director yeah. of Go. Please, Go. <laughs> also and the director of that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Montana Repertory Theater. Yes. Uh, the, the show's already been going on, If you, uh, and this is the last weekend to go check it out. It is. We have four shows left. Tonight, Saturday matinee, Saturday night, Sunday matinee. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about this play, what people can expect. Well, the play's a world premiere, which is the cool thing about it. So audiences here in Missoula will be the first ones to ever see this show. It was written by a playwright named Emily Feldman, who is an amazing playwright. She's based out of New York. She's got a big show happening there. Uh, uh, so it's really nice that we get to premiere one of her works. Um, the play itself is about a young couple um, who decide to break up in like the first 30 seconds of the play and then spend the next 90 minutes and 65 years trying to do it. Nice. And uh, is it the same cast throughout or do you have... It is. Yeah, it's oh. the same cast. It's six actors. There are three actors that we brought in from New York uh, and then three local folks. Um, uh, the three actors from New York, two of them play the couple. One plays a very significant person in all of their lives. And then the three folks that uh, are local actors play a variety of characters from friends to babysitters to their mothers. Yeah. And so, uh, like, uh, without spoiling too much of the play, okay. <laughs> uh, like, it, basically the synopsis is basically they're together for primarily most of their lives. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of the play is about how difficult it is to, I mean, especially in this day and age with social media and, right. you know, you try to end a relationship with somebody and it's kind of impossible to do it or at least to, to really completely is. excise them from your life. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like, a breakup doesn't mean you have to stop loving them. That's exactly. The yeah. And that's the thing about this is like, it's like, it's like you go back and forth about breaking up and doing all this stuff and, you know, like there's signs that say, it's like, maybe we're not good for each other, but you're the only thing I know. Absolutely, yeah. And also, you know, a lot of it is like socioeconomic, right? One of the reasons why they break up but don't leave is because neither of them can afford to find another place to right. live. Yeah. Which so. is like a, which is a good allegory to like, you know, struggling, yep. uh, you know, like and just like, you know, um, you know, like the the divorce rate really dropped especially during like uh, uh, the depression as well Yeah. because yeah. everyone had to stick together. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and and like and like money is the biggest contributed to divorce all the time. Oh my god, all the time. All the yeah. time. But more about this play, it's comedy. Yes, it is. So it's kind of like one of those things just like, with this again? And then like this kind of deal. So it's yeah, absolutely. And then also to see how, you know, because one of the characters really moves on and, and over the course of the play enters into several other relationships. And so part of the comedy is watching the person who doesn't move on sort of watch all that happen around him while they're trapped in this tiny little apartment. Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Like it's be, a comedy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, like, it does it follow a lot of those? I mean, like, does it, like you know, like one of those times when you always see a show or a movie, they always follow the trope. It's like you're really annoying, and then they end up together at the very end. <laughs> well, you know, and again, not to spoil too much, but I, you know, I they end up together at the end, but maybe not in the way that you might expect. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Well. There you go. I don't want to spoil any more because if I ask any more questions, we're going to get some more. Yeah. Uh, Montana Repertory Theater is going to be Massacre Theater yep. happening tonight. Tonight's, a couple matinees on yeah. Saturday and Sunday. Tonight, 7.30, uh, Saturday, 2 o'clock matinee, Saturday, 7.30 p.m., Sunday, 2 o'clock. Yep. You can get tickets on MontanaRep.com or by stopping by the box office. And the box office opens usually Noon. Uh, half an hour before the show sometimes? Well, it's, it's open 12 to 5 today, but it's always open at least a half hour before the show. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks, Michael. I thanks. really appreciate you coming down. Absolutely. All right. So we